The scope of the research here is really quite incredible. We have dozens and dozens of scientists from the UC system and from around the world who come here to work, as well as their graduate students. It's just an incredible transect of life zones, of climate, of geology, of the environment. Where else could you find something like this? To my left, we have the White Mountains maybe five miles away, and to my right where I sit, we have the Sierra Nevada maybe five miles away. It's just a spectacular environment in which to work. Because we're here permanently, we're here full time, because we have facilities at such a wide range of sites, we can see things that might be missed at an individual research site, maybe at a low elevation site. We can see how the different parts of this puzzle are changing and moving. We work in Rock Creek and Bishop Creek and Big Pine Creek. It's really uniquely suited in the middle of our study sites. We'll oh, here's a, a good one. Yeah, yeah. You're, she's good at that. So there's a nice big that clutch of second and And so they are a very tractable study system for understanding big problems in how animals are affected by climate change. Because you can't really put a polar bear in the lab and um, measure its metabolic rate. I mean, people have tried. What's really amazing about the White Mountain Research Center is, of course, it puts you right in the midst of the bristlecone pines. Researchers can actually be in the midst of that environment, day by day, hour by hour, monitoring, studying, with a very small footprint. The climate here, what we study climate here from these tree rings, for example, it has ripples and repercussions far away from the groves we're standing in today. In 50 days, I'm not going to teach these students everything they need to know about science. I'm not going to teach them everything they need to know about writing a paper or doing statistics, but I'm going to teach them how powerful those things are. And we just happen to have the messiest, coolest laboratory in the world to do our research in. That's what the UC Natural Reserve System brings. It's amazing. And so a student who's interested in marine sciences, interested in the desert, interested in forest, interested in lakes, there is a NRS site that they can go to, that they'll get some educational experience from, that they can do research in. It's really unparalleled globally. It is a jewel in the crown of the UC system. It's a remarkable program, and the goal is to maintain a series of observatories throughout the world. And it's a group of expert volunteers at each constellation of summits that goes out and monitors vegetation change over time. And our site is actually one of the Gloria Master Sites, and it's yielding some powerful data already. Um, E.O. Wilson called insects the little things that run the world, and they really are. Our work on insects right now is focused in two main areas, uh, stream insects and wetland insects. We see just remarkable correlations between total amount of precipitation in a year, whether it come in the form of snow or rain, but particularly in the form of snow, with insect diversity and abundance. It's a very strong correlation. We are seeing lives transformed and in careers taking shape, and I think that's the great joy all of us have with working in a university system. Many of these students, although they're enthusiastic about the environment, have not spent a lot of time in the mountains, backpacking, even car camping, etc. And to see them come back with big smiles and wide open eyes is just a great thing. So this is a, a really great area in which California can look at uh, a wide range of environments and habitat under a, a relatively variable climatic system. I really do want to reach out. I want to be part of the University of California in the Eastern Sierra. And as I've worked here too, I've become more aware of 
the peoples, the communities, the uh, environmental challenges that are faced up and down the Owens Valley, and how I think the University of California and the White Mountains Research Center can contribute to helping with those challenges.